System Shock, a first-person sci-fi game released back in 1994 by Looking Glass Technologies and is one of the most influential games of all time. We're not saying that lightly, as games like Half-Life would not exist if it wasn't for the very first System Shock. It was also instrumental in the popularization of immersive sims and the emergent gameplay that comes with it. And deservedly so. This legend is making a remake dubbed as… well… System Shock. But don't let the title fool you, as the remake is shaping up to be more than just a visual update. It's set to release in March of 2023, and we here at GIS decided to compile a few games to get you warmed up before your reunion with Shodan. I create. I iterate. I fuse flesh and steel into perfection. Starting ourselves strong, Bioshock stands on its own as one of the best games to have come out in the last two decades. Created by former members of Looking Glass Studios, it garnered critical acclaim for its storytelling, themes, gameplay, and pretty much everything else. Enter Rapture, a once thriving city that after a series of unfortunate events, went to complete and utter chaos. The story of Bioshock is amazing and regarded as one of the most unique stories in video game history only being enhanced further by its amazing dialogue. Yellow always had been. You'll be no better off with Metal Daddy, little fish. See you floating, Hermione. Bioshock has always been known to be heavily inspired by System Shock and was often titled as the spiritual successor at the time, and it definitely shows. But it's also wise to note that Bioshock is its own game that sets itself apart from other shooters and sims alike. If you haven't had the pleasure of experiencing this classic, you certainly owe it to yourself to give this game a go. It was not impossible to build Rapture at the bottom of the sea. It was impossible to build it anywhere else. While most of us may be familiar with the more recent titles developed by Eidos Montreal, the original Deus Ex remains as one of the most profound immersive sim games of all time. Deus Ex has always prioritized player choice. Just like System Shock, you have full control of how you want to approach a task. Maybe you want to hack your way into a building or just climb through a vent. Maybe you want to go for the silent approach but suddenly get caught halfway through. The game gives you so much space for you to be creative which so many modern RPGs don't even bother trying to replicate. It's also not just about how you do it, but it's also about the staggering amount of ways the game can react to your actions. Hell, you can even prematurely kill some villains early in the game, and that's just one of the many things other characters will react to. Deus Ex is a must-play for fans of immersive sims and stands alongside System Shock as a benchmark of the genre. Credits, or I'd call the police. Make me. Those who've played the Dishonored games know that Arcane tends to show off some unique mechanics every now and then, on top of their consistent excellence in level design and creativity. Dishonored 2 featured a level that allowed switching between two time periods at will. Time travel everywhere. That was insane. With that, Deathloop is an extension of those unique ideas. You play as Colt as he struggles to end the time loop that can only end if he takes out the 8 visionaries. If he dies or leaves one target alive at the end of the day, it's back to square one. To complicate things further, you will also be routinely hunted down by another agent who's tasked to protect the time loop. So imagine that crazy scenario alongside Arcane's signature immersive sim elements that allow you to be creative with the game's gadgets, powers, and level design. And you'll be met with the game unlike any other. You'll be spending just as much time getting familiar with the ins and outs of Black Reef and the patterns of Colt's targets. Because once you pull out that perfect plan to take all 8 visionaries out before the stroke of midnight, it'll be the end of the death loop. So if you're looking for more of that big brain gameplay from System Shock, then you can't go wrong with something as creative as death loop. Postcard, dumbass! You wrote it on the Black Reef postcard! You understand? Okay, I'm gonna drop wait, you now. Wait, no, wait! What the while it may not follow the gameplay mechanics directly, Alien Isolation certainly delivers when it comes to the vibe and atmosphere of being stuck inside a space station. Developed by Creative Assembly and released back in 2014, the game aims to recreate what it felt like to live through the original 1978 movie, and Alien Isolation delivers in spades. 20th Century Fox actually gave Creative Assembly full access for all of the concept art and behind the scenes assets during its development. They've really outdone themselves here as the game still looks amazing for something released almost 10 years ago. 
gameplay is in tune to the survival horror genre. Gathering specific items, completing certain objectives, backtracking, your standard fare for the genre. But the best part is the alien. The Xenomorph is the real star of this game. Compared to similar characters in the genre, the alien actually hunts you and adapts to your strategies later on. If you keep using the flamethrower to ward it off, it takes caution once you put it out again, or builds up a resistance to it. This makes the alien distinct and memorable compared to other horror game villains. If you're a fan of that isolated sensation that System Shock gave, then you might want to give Alien Isolation a look. Not to mention that the game still holds up to this very day. And to finally wrap up this list, Prey, released back in 2017 and is arguably one of Arcane Studios' best titles. Like Bioshock, Prey is dubbed as a spiritual successor to System Shock, but now it is much more apparent. The game takes place on a space station called Talos, after an alien outbreak erupts into complete chaos. You play as Morgan Yu, the vice president of the Transtar Corporation. Like many video game protagonists, Morgan starts off with amnesia, having no recollection of what happened to them or Talos. As Morgan, you are set off to explore the station and find out what really happened here all while dealing with aliens that started this mess, the Typhon. They are the main enemies throughout the game and are Lovecraftian in nature. For example, Mimics can replicate themselves as any inanimate object, meaning they can jump out at you if you're not careful. A lot of the Typhons are meant to scare and confuse you. These enemies carry a lot of what makes Prey so tense and atmospheric, which perfectly describes the tone of the game. Aside from the plot, Prey also takes System Shock's gameplay design of absolute agency. You can explore and proceed the story on your own terms, encouraging emergent gameplay and improvisation that stays true to the System Shock legacy. Nothing encapsulated this philosophy more than the glue gun, which at first it might seem like Prey stand in for an ice gun, but it's so much more than that. Tools are only as good as your wit and ingenuity, and the glue gun will allow you to bypass areas and disable adversaries as long as you know how to use it. And that's just one of the many tools at your disposal in this game. Prey is the definitive must-play for everyone looking for a System Shock-like experience, as it achieves both being a spiritual successor and just a really damn good game on its own. So if you haven't played this game yet, we highly encourage you to try Prey out for your own benefit. You will not regret it. Good morning, Morgan. You're not going to like what I have to say next. And that's our list of games you should play before the System Shock remake. What do you guys think? What games would you recommend? Let us know in the comments below. Till then, this is GameMate, signing off. <laughs>